Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we are going to discuss about the anatomy of the obturator artery. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe. And I am Abhishek. I teach anatomy videos on all of the anatomy important topics. So if you are new here, make sure to subscribe. So today beginning with the obturator artery, this will just be a short video. So obturator artery is arises from the anterior division of the internal iliac artery. It arises from the anterior division of the internal iliac artery from the pelvis. from the pelvis actually what, what is its course it enters through the uh, it enters the adductor compartment of the thigh through the obturator canal and from there it divides into the medial and the lateral branches divides into the medial and the lateral branches the lateral branch gives off an estabular twig it gives an estabular twig twig and what does this do? It, it enters the estabulum through a gap between estabular notch as well as the transverse estabular ligament from where it supplies the estabular fat and also gives off a slender artery to the femoral head along the ligament of the head of the femur. A slender artery to the head of the femur. Slender artery to the head of the femur. And another thing that you need to remember, we have something called as the abnormal obturator artery. So what do you mean by the abnormal obturator artery? Normally, a, the a pubic branch of the obturator artery will anastomose with the pubic branch of the inferior epigastric artery. Sometimes, this anastomosis is so large and well developed that the obturator artery appears to be branch of the inferior epigastric artery. So what do we have? We have the inferior epigastric artery and then we have the obturator artery. From obturator artery, we have the pubic branch. From inferior epigastric artery, we have a pubic branch and both of them will anastomose together. Sometimes, this anastomosis is slow, so large that it looks like this is the branch of the inferior epigastric artery. This is the inferior epigastric artery, this is the obturator artery and this is the abnormal obturator artery. So this is about the anatomy of the obturator artery and also abnormal obturator artery. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and also share it to your other friends. Thank you so much.